Hi, I'm Laura Von Sagern for Fraser. I'm our specialty mobile healthcare manager, and I'm here with our latest mobile stroke unit. It's for University Medical Center of El Paso. El Paso is going to use this unit like every other mobile stroke unit. They will embed it in the 911 system, and they will be working in conjunction with El Paso Fire. This unit is mounted on an M2 Freightliner chassis with a crew cab. This allows the entire team to ride out. There's room for five in the cab. They can ride out to the scene and you have all of the standard features of an ambulance as well. You have sirens, you have air horns, you have a couple of non-standard features that go with a mobile stroke unit though. You have a leveling system and you have an inclinometer in the front. These two things will tell you if your unit is level and ready to scan. On this unit, we have a stand-up O2 with an electric O2, and you have compartment storage here as well with some straps to hold in any equipment that you need. We also have our standard electrical compartment and an intermediate compartment with an adjustable shelf and room for a stair chair. On the mobile stroke units, we have an additional compartment here Sometimes people put radio equipment. You can also make this compartment inside, outside if you wish. But most of our mobile stroke unit customers make this one the inside, outside compartment. Because there's no inside, outside compartment on the passenger side, this one gives you handy access to equipment you might need from inside the unit while the unit is moving down the road. Before we step inside the unit, I wanted to highlight the graphics that UMC of El Paso decided to put on their truck. They're really spectacular with the brain on the side. And if you come around to the rear, be fast and pronto are the two things that help us remember what to look for in case we suspect our loved one is having a stroke. Be fast and pronto, don't forget them. Here we are inside the University Medical Center of El Paso's mobile stroke unit. They have an Omnitom. This is the first Omnitom inside a mobile stroke unit. This 16 slice scanner provides excellent care for your mobile stroke patients. David Tracy will now join us and explain a little bit more about the Omnitom. We are here on scene and what I've done so far is taking our track protectors off the tracks that help keep a lot of the dirt out. Um, I've unbuckled the net, rolled it up out of the way. This net provides just a little bit of extra protection uh, in, inside the unit here for the passengers in the back. And down at the bottom, I released these two T-pins that are down at the floor. That's half of the system that helps keep this unit secure in transit. Over here on the back wall toward the top, I've already released this mechanism up here that releases the scanner off of the front wall. So now that I've already pulled this out and the CT scanner is powered up, we're ready to go ahead and begin moving it and getting it into position to scan the patient. Putting it back, we just power it right back to the wall, making sure everything is nice and clear. Go ahead and lock the bracket on the front wall. <clears throat> we'll put the T-pins right back in their place. So now that we're all secured in, we're ready to go ahead and bring the leveling system on the chassis back up, and the driver can go ahead and drive us away. There is an extra alarm system on this unit that if the driver were to try to go away, uh, to drive away, and this were not secured, it would let the driver know. So the crew here in the back can take care of that. So at that time, once everything's all secure, we're ready to go on our way. This unit is equipped with extra countertop space. We have the regular countertop for the action wall for your use, but we also have this additional countertop where you can have your defibrillator and you have additional cabinets above and next to you so that you can have everything you need to work on the patient. This unit is equipped with a Teladoc telemedicine system. You have the InTouch Express, which releases from the ceiling easily so that the patient can see the doctor, talk to the doctor, and get instructions from the doctor while they're on the cot. 
It stows away after use to stay up and out of the way. On this side of the unit, we have two workspaces and two captain's chairs. This workspace can be used for scanning. This allows you to be an appropriate distance from the scanner while the CT scan is taking place. This comfortable captain's chair here and this one are great for working on your charts and you can move this workstation table and rotate this chair to use it as a workstation while you're in motion. It slides back easily and locks into place. Additionally, you have access to sharps and trash and a nice little drawer for pens or IV supplies or whatever else you may need in the unit. The additional cabinetry above and the reliability of having Firecom system and your radio on this side allows all attendants in the units to be able to get the same information at the same time and to listen in to the radio calls as they occur. Thank you for joining us on this tour of University Medical Center El Paso's mobile stroke unit. We look forward to hearing from you to help you start a mobile stroke unit in your community. If you need more information on how to get a mobile stroke unit started in your community, contact me at lvonsegern at fraserbuilt.com. Also, visit our website, www.fraserbuilt.com, and like us on social media. Thank you.